Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change the advanced settings in Microsoft Edge to change the advanced features of the program, such as enabling or disabling Flash and Cortana, managing your cookie acceptance, setting your default search engine, and many other features. To access the advanced settings in Microsoft Edge, click the More Actions button at the right end of the command bar at the top of the Microsoft Edge window to open a flyout pane. Then click the Settings command in the pane to display a settings pane at the right side of the window. In the settings pane, scroll down to the bottom of the pane and click the View Advanced Settings button to display the advanced settings pane. You can pin the advanced settings pane open by clicking the Pin This Pane button, which looks like a push pin, in the upper right corner of the pane. If you pin the pane open, you must click the Close This Pane button, which looks like an X, in the upper right corner of the pane, to close it when you are finished. If you do not pin the pane open, it will close automatically when you click away from the pane or switch windows. In the Advanced Settings pane, you can enable or disable several features shown at the top of the pane by clicking or tapping the option switches to set them to either the On or Off position. The features you can enable or disable are Show the Home button, block pop-ups, use Adobe Flash Player, and always use Carrot Browsing. If you want Microsoft Edge to offer to store website passwords for you, enable the Offer to Save Password setting by clicking or tapping it to set it to the On position. You can click or tap it to set it to the Off position for greater security. If you have saved passwords, you can click the Manage My Saved Passwords link to open a Manage Passwords pane. Here you can click the X button to the right of any site listed to delete the saved password for that site. When finished, click the double left pointing arrows in the upper left corner of the pane to return to the Advanced Settings pane. The next three settings are option switches that you can click or tap to enable or disable the settings by turning each switch to either the on or off position. The settings are Save Form Entries, send Do Not Track requests, and have Cortana assist me in Microsoft Edge. The next setting is a drop-down that lets you choose which search engine you want to use to process web searches that you enter into the address bar in Microsoft Edge. The default value is Bing. You use the Search in the Address Bar with drop-down to select your desired search engine. To add a new search engine, click the Add New Choice in the drop-down menu to open the Add a Search Provider pane. Select a search provider from this list and then choose which button you want to click, Add as Default, Add, or Remove. To add the selected search engine as the new default, click the Add as Default button. To simply add the selected search engine as a choice you can select from the drop-down, click the Add button. To remove the search engine from your choices, click the Remove button. Note that you cannot manually add a search engine, as only search providers that support OpenSearch and are approved by Microsoft will be shown within this list of providers. If you added a search provider, ensure your choice is selected from the Search in the Address Bar with drop-down within the Advanced Settings pane after adding the search provider. Back in the Advanced Settings pane, you can enable or disable the appearance of search suggestions when you type in the address bar by clicking the Show Search Suggestions as I Type switch to set it to either the on or off position. You can use the Cookies drop-down to select how you want Microsoft Edge to handle the acceptance of cookies from websites. Your choices are Block All Cookies, Block Only Third-Party Cookies, or Don't Block Cookies. Finally, the last three settings are option switches that you can click or tap to set each one to either the on or off position to enable or disable each setting. The settings are Let Sites Save Protected Media Licenses on My Device, Use Page Prediction to Speed Up Browsing, Improve Reading, and Make My Overall Experience Better, and Help Protect Me from Malicious Sites and Downloads with Smart Screen Filter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.